Good morning, Sighty Daisy. Today's show includes information on the UTC trip, talent show auditions, and the latest on weather. Let's get started with the pledge and a moment of silence. Teachers, don't forget to attend one of the two after-school meetings on Tuesday and Thursday of this week regarding testing security. The meeting will last about 20 minutes. There will be a field trip for juniors and seniors to the UTC Technology Symposium. The trip will be on April 18th, leaving after the EOC and returning by the end of the day. The trip is $10 and lunch will be provided. Return signed forms to Mr. Moore, Ms. Hicks, or Mr. Klein as soon as possible. Talent show auditions are April 23rd and 24th. If you're interested in auditioning, talk to Ms. Boyce in room 115. And now for a message from Hensley. Good morning, Saudi Daisy. I hope everybody's doing great. It is uh, gonna be a little bit of a rainy day, so everybody make sure we're careful on the way home as always, but uh, hopefully after today and tomorrow, we won't, won't see any more rain. It'll be a good, a good week for, um, for spring sports. So we'll get right into the sports section of things. I'm sure somebody else can cover this, but uh, baseball, I know it's got Cleveland this week. We've got softballs at home Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Soccer's at home on Thursday, and tennis has matches Tuesday and Thursday as well. Track is supposed to have a meet today at Red Bank, but it's looking a little bit, little bit in uh, jeopardy. So um, a lot of stuff going on this week. I know that our news crew is going to keep everybody informed of uh, successes and as well as um, upcoming games and everything like that. So everybody get out and support all of our men and women of Troy, and let's have a good, good week there. Next week starts st state testing. All right, so everybody's, you know, it's, it's old hat by now, I know, so let's make sure that we get a good night's sleep and eat breakfast and we're on time and we're getting checked in and doing all the things that we need to do. We leave our phones where they're supposed to go. I know that Dr. McCulley will probably make a handful of announcements about phones and being put up and all the, the rules and responsibilities. Hey, we ain't joking about that stuff. You get that phone taken up, it's, if you bring the phone in, it's getting taken up. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So just know up front, this is a, this is a forewarning to all the warnings that you're going to get from Dr. McCulley because it's coming. So anyway, but you guys and girls have done a great, great job all year uh, in regards to the benchmark test and, and doing what you're supposed to be doing. And, and we're excited about our progress and where we're going as a school, so you should be as well. But we need everybody's best effort starting next week for the next two weeks after that, getting, getting cranked up. Um, speaking of successes, Color Guard. Awesome, awesome job. Finished uh, farther in the World Championships um, this past weekend than they have in the last 20 years, which probably would have been my class for the record. Um, but uh, 20 years and made it all the way to the semifinals. Unbelievable job. Uh, very proud of the effort that um, y'all have all put in. I know how hard you've all worked. Um, I know that because I'm here every day after school and y'all are too most of the time for three to five hours at a time. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm a little tired of Fields of Gold. So maybe next year, you know, I can sit in on the song, song selections for your performance and uh, maybe help y'all make some decisions that, you know, I'm going to enjoy every single day. But on a serious note, awesome job. Very proud of y'all. Everybody should be, you should be proud of yourselves and a uh, way to re represent Sai Daisy High School. Um, last thing, speaking of schools and Sai Daisy High School, just a reminder, all right, we go to Sai Daisy High School. Okay, so we're not going to be wearing the other schools' shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies and shorts and everything else around school, all right? I know last week we had a handful of people wearing different shirts, and I asked nicely to turn them inside out, and everybody obliged. I do appreciate that, but, you know, we go Side Daisy, so we're going to represent Side Daisy, or you can represent this college 
or colleges that you wish to go to. We can we can do that. But you know, as far as wearing other schools from across the state or around town, just not going to do it. Okay. I know that some people may have boyfriends or girlfriends at those other schools. It's prom season. Totally get it. When you leave here, you can wear it. But I just don't want to see it. So just remember, side daisy stuff. Okay, that's where we go to school. You should be proud of that. And uh, if you want to go somewhere else, that'll be your choice. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great day, a great week. We only have about six, seven more weeks of school left. It'll be over before you know it. So let's lock in, get it done, finish strong. Go Trojans. A shakeup at the Department of Homeland Security. President Trump tweeted, Secretary of Homeland Security Kristen Nielsen will be leaving her position, and I would like to thank her for her service. And I am pleased to announce that Kevin McAleelan, the current U.S. Customs and Border Protection Commissioner, will become Acting Secretary for Homeland Security. I have confidence that Kevin will do a great job. Senior administration officials say Nielsen had a meeting at the White House with Trump at 5 Sunday afternoon. They say she was planning to talk to him about immigration and border issues and a path forward. One of the sources say that she had no intention of resigning, but rather was going there with an agenda. Sunday night, Nielsen tweeted that she'll stay through Wednesday, April 10th to help with the transition. Today we're expecting thunderstorms in the area as well as tomorrow. We're looking at a mix of isolated and scattered thunderstorms this morning, then full thunderstorms starting in the afternoon. Temperatures are going to be in the low 70s when we get out of school, with the high reaching 72. Tomorrow's forecast shows scattered thunderstorms hitting the area until about 4 p.m. We're expecting morning temperatures in the low 60s and afternoon temperatures in the low 70s, with a high of 75. Looking ahead in the week, we're seeing Tuesday and Sunday storms accompanied by some pleasant temperatures. Anyone interested in wrestling next year needs to meet with Coach Laxton in his room during third block. Tomorrow, our Trojan tennis team will go up against Cumberland County at Rivermont Park. The matches will start at 4 o'clock. Our track and field team have a meet today against Red Bank at Red Bank. Everyone wish our Trojans good luck. Our Trojans baseball team are on the road tonight to Cleveland. The JV will start at 4 o'clock and the varsity will start at 7. Everyone come out and cheer on our Trojans. Stay tuned to Saudi Daisy Athletics on Twitter for the latest on the games tonight. That's all for today, Saudi Daisy. Tune in tomorrow for more important announcements. Until then, have a good day and good news.